And last but finally, definitely not least, the number 16 Proton competition on, on LMGTE. Ryan, Ryan, congratulations, your first ELMS pole position. You must be very pleased with that. Yep. Uh, two minutes, 17, 385, six tenths of a second faster than the rest of the field. But around here, that's quite an impressive feat around here. Well, I, yeah, I mean, it, it was the perfect lap. I mean, every racing driver is in search of that perfect lap, right? And uh, for me, you know, and our team to put it all together, you know, when it counted and at this place, I, uh, I can't say that I'm not really excited and honored that my first DLMS poll or, or racing in Europe, you know, period, uh, came here at Spa. Uh, and also with it being the final year of these GTE cars, I mean, so special to just be able to drive a car like the RSR around this place. But have my name you know a bit in the history books for you know the last person to put an rsr on pole at spa that's it's really special we mustn't forget you've got success ballast on that car i think it's 25 kilos so a bit more than yeah. that yeah so yeah, have you got a bit yeah. of success ballast? i spoke to alessio about it does it upset the car because it doesn't seem to be doing you know, on a fast lap it doesn't seem to be doing too badly i don't feel like it upsets the car but i think it, it i think it does compromise you know ultimate pace in both slowing the car down you we're uh, compared to some of our sister cars they're a little better than us on the brakes and then also whenever there's an incline a hill you know there our sister cars are a little better like up au rouge and uh, some places so yeah, if we're going flat or straight, it's okay. <laughs> but uh, uphill and, and braking, it, you can feel it. But it's the downside of being championship leaders. I mean, that's a new thing for me. I mean, coming from the U.S., you know, we don't we don't have success ballast, and so I'm, uh, you know, it's uh, it's a new thing for me. But uh, same here, same in the WC, and I understand the reasoning for it. We like to try to keep the championships tight, but. Um, yeah, we're trying to do the best we can, right, you know, with it. And uh, obviously the team did a really good job. We're constantly trying to, you know, improve. We're always, uh, uh, and really all the cars on Proton, uh, all the teams, uh, the separate teams of the cars, we work well together and we learn from each other. And we're, we're constantly just trying to make our cars a little better and a little better. So, um, yeah, I'm really proud of our um, my engineer, um, Seb, he's, uh, he was amazing. He never, good is never good enough. You know, he's always looking for a little more and a little more. And, uh, it's a great trait of a great engineer.